Welcome to Percussion Methods. Today we're talking about castanets. This video is sponsored by none other than Black Swamp Percussion. They were kind enough to send me a really nice selection of their castanets. I'll be talking about them and demonstrating on them throughout this video. There's a good chance that the castanets at your school are machine castanets like these that are mounted to some kind of base and have tensioners on them. Playing these is fairly simple. Set them down on a sturdy surface, and then using German grip, you're gonna tap on them with your fingers like this. Playing machine castanets on a table is just fine, but if you've got other things on that table, they might rattle and make noise, and there's a good chance that your audience isn't going to be able to see the performing. An option I prefer for castanet machines is to mount it to a standard cymbal stand, kind of like this one. All of Black Swamp's castanet machines, including this overture line of instrument, can be mounted to a standard cymbal stand. Here's how you do that. Your castanet machine should come with a wing nut that you're gonna put on the stand first and thread it upside down until it's about at the bottom of the threads. Then take your castanet machine and carefully put it on the stand and give it a few turns to get it threaded a little bit on the stand. You don't wanna keep turning this until it hits the very bottom because it's not gonna be good for the base of the castanet machine. Next, I'm gonna get this aligned so that I can tilt it on this section of the cymbal stand and then tighten the wing nut up against the bottom of the base of the castanet machine. With it aligned like this, I can loosen this part of the stand and tilt it forward to make it a little bit easier to play. With the castanet machine set up at a comfortable angle and playing height, you can just play with German grip like this. Some of the advantages to putting your castanet machine on a stand like this is that if you put it on a table, other stuff on the table could rattle, and then you can raise this up so that your audience can see the performing. You might have access to some handle-style castanets like these. These are really great because you can actually play them in the air using a hinging German grip, which gives you a more visually appealing performance, kind of like this. You also tend to get a really strong resonant tone when you play them up in the air like that. For easier rhythmic accuracy, you can also play the castanets against your leg. You're gonna need to prop your foot up on something like the bottom of a snare drum stand or a stool. With my leg propped up on the bottom of that stand, I'm gonna play with hinging German grip against my leg like this. On just about all models of handle style castanets and machine style castanets, you're gonna have tension adjustment. Usually when we play soft passages, we need less tension between the castanets, so the cups are gonna be closer together. For loud passages, we're going to increase the castanet tension so that the cups get farther apart. On these machines, there are knobs on top of both the castanets. Just turn that to the right and you see they open up more to add tension for loud playing. That way, they don't accidentally strike one another. For soft playing, we wanna decrease that distance and make them easier to strike against one another for that sensitive dynamic. When selecting castanets, there are two main things to consider. Do you want machine style or handle style? And then, what type of wood do you want them to be made out of? Personally, I really like handle castanets because you can play them in the air, on your knee, or you can get a castanet mounting solution like this one and either put them on a cymbal stand or place this on a trap table. Castanet machines are a great option if ease of use is your primary concern. Castanet machines can also come in handy if you need to play this instrument and then scurry to another one really quickly and you don't have time to set down some handle-mounted castanets. Now I'm gonna do a sound comparison of all the castanets that have been featured in this video. I'll put the model name and the material on screen as I'm playing them. These are the Pro Castanets in Purple Heart, and you'll notice they give you a little bit of a warmer, darker tone. They're very pretty. These are the Pro Handle Castanets in Grenadillo. They have a bright, classic castanet sound.
one of the really cool features about these black swamp castanet machines is that you can remove these and put on different cups and mix and match woods to get the tone you want. If you need to play a roll on castanets, you're gonna use that hinging German grip and play a single stroke roll. On a castanet machine, it looks like this. With handle castanets, I recommend playing that roll against your leg like this. Another cool way to play a castanet roll is using a redoble technique. Black Swamp has a demonstration video on that. I'll put a link to that and some other Black Swamp castanet videos in the description. As always, we put our small percussion instruments and implements on a soft top trap table or a music stand with a black towel like this one. That way you don't get any extraneous noise as you pick them up and put them down. When you're transporting these instruments, you can get a soft castanet bag or you can take these and wrap them in a black towel, then put that in a larger bag for transport.